Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Q&A. So I, um, I originally posted about this Q&A on the 26th of June. It's now the 3rd of August. Yeah, so first off, it was waiting to get questions, because, uh, yeah, I didn't really get a lot of questions at first. I was like, you can't make a whole video of this. So I waited. Then my computer just out of nowhere just died and I had to wait a while to get a new one. And then after that, I just sort of forgot about it. But we're here now and that's all that matters. Also, I'm a really good YouTuber because I'm always looking at that rather than there. Here's a big question. Can you name all the racing games you've played and rate them out of 10? <laughs> Formula One, 99. I'd give that an 8 out of 10. Mind you, the handling on it can be a little bit tricky. It's 7 out of 10. I don't think anyone else would agree with that, but I personally really enjoyed it, so... Toka Touring Car Championship. Give that a 7. Considering when it was released, it's a very decent game. However, there's issues with it that I, that were fixed in the game afterwards. That when I play that one, I'm like, uh, the sound effects are a little bit weird. Uh, when cars go behind a wall, you can see them through the wall. Handling's all right, but it's not the best. Toka Two Touring Cars. Ten. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh! Ah! Uh, no! Don't you do this to me! Oh my gosh! I can't drive. Just 10. Toka World Touring Cars. I find it alright if I'm just like playing a quick race or something, but I feel like you can't really do a championship mode on that. They're not as good as the previous two games, so we're gonna give that a 5. Gran Turismo 2. To be honest, the only time I really remember playing it was for that Christmas series I did back in 2017. From what I remember, I think I was just going through the lessons and I don't really remember too much of it. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> try to, <laughs> try to smoothly follow the yellow line. Okay, this, oh, I keep forgetting how sensitive the stirring is. Okay, that, ah. So I'm gonna give that. We'll give it a 7, because I'm pretty sure it's a good game. Gran Turismo 3. Again, I... I haven't really played it for a good couple of years. But I remember really enjoying that one, so we're going to give that one an 8. I love the way this has turned from a Q&A to just... I mean, the, most of this video is probably going to be this me reviewing all the racing games I've played. Crash Nitro Kart. I mean, I enjoyed it. Give that a 7. Gran Turismo 4 Prologue. Honestly, that's like one of the only games I would ever play as a kid. I feel like I shouldn't rate it though because it is just a prologue and not the actual game. So let's go to Gran Turismo 4. Didn't really play that one. I'll give that an 8 though. Because from what I did play, I think I enjoyed it. MotoGP 4. From what I did play the game, I used to try and play that game a lot. But I could ne I could never, I don't know if it's just me or whether the handling was just really bad. I just, I, I couldn't do it. I'm going to give that one a four. And that's really generous considering I really did not enjoy playing that game. <laughs> Formula One 2006. Ten out of ten. Oh my, no. No. No, no, no. Here's the current top eight. You now lead the race. To be honest, though, I, I genuinely really did play that one, so that's probably not even a lie. Even 9 out of 10. F1 2010. Still my favourite F1 game to this day. Genuinely, out of all of the F1 games they've made, that one is my favourite. So we're gonna give that 10. Grand Turismo 5. 10. I played it a lot. I really enjoyed it. Couldn't get me off it. Grand Turismo 6. We'll give that an 8. Not as good as five. Yeah, I'm sure there are more racing games than that. There have to be. But I can't, like, I'm counting my physical copies, but like any of the ones I've downloaded, I can't, I can't remember that from memory. F1 2012, we're playing that at the moment, aren't we? Just forget one of the games I'm actually playing on this channel. We'll give it a seven. 
It's alright. But it's not F1 2010. Do you watch anime? No. Would you get the PS5 or a PC with better upgraded parts? Probably sometime way, way into the future. Will there sometimes be two videos a week if you ever get the chance? Maybe? I mean, I know when this is supposed to go out, there will be two videos a week. But to be honest, I think that's just for this week. Maybe at some point, but for now I just want to try and stick to one video a week. If you ever have the time, will you consider live streaming? No. Who's more crazy? Uh, out of who? <laughs> if you're talking about the Discord group, then honestly I can't pick one person because everyone is just as crazy. Will you stop hitting me on the head with- <laughs> Stop hitting me on the head with baguettes? Head hurts so much. I will hit you on the head with a baguette purely for the fact that there's an apostrophe where it doesn't need to be. Will you ever get a capture card? I want to. But they're very expensive. <laughs> Maybe at some point, but for right now, I'm just gonna have to stick to filming my screen with a ca I, th I thought it would be over this by this point. I thought I'd finally be able to record my gameplay in a good way. That was years ago and I'm still filming my screen. What are your favourite games aside from racing games? L.A. Noir. I like a game of Pong every now and then. Little Big Planet 2. That was always one of my favourites. Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, which I started a series on here with Holly. And I think the last time we updated that series was three years ago. Do you prefer Gran Turismo 3 or 4? 3. Got a car question here, and to be completely honest with you, I have not played one of those games since the Christmas series. So... I... In the Gran Turismo 3 and 4 series, how far have you got in the game? In Gran Turismo 3, I started a new game at one point, that was several years back. And I don't think I even completed the first championship. <laughs> or I did. But then just never continued. I don't really remember much. And what's your favourite type of penguin? Oh, that's a bit of a random question to end it on. It's all been like cars and games and stuff. Penguins. I don't really know, to be honest with you. I've never really given it much thought. Okay, so those were the YouTube comments. And I usually ask my friends on Facebook to send in questions too. <sighs> Knives or forks? Knives. Here we go. Mum's put, which parent do you like the most and why? And I have a question. Why would you ask that question? What if it's not you? Lol, I might ask the same question. Which sister do you like the most and why? I will not be answering either question. If you were stuck on a desert island with your parents with no food, which parent would you consider eat? Is someone trying to break up the family? What's going on here? I'll eat the sand. Oh. Okay, so that's the end of this interesting Q&A. And I'll see you in my next video, which is on Sunday, which is Burnout Paradise. The last Burnout Paradise video I did was a little bit long, but hopefully it won't be too long this week. Bye!